So about over 10 million people have already seen the Joker trailer, especially, you know, since it's been the most anticipated project for Warner Brothers to go ahead and put out. The first uh, Joker movie made over a billion dollars in the box office. Honestly speaking, if you take it all the way back to 2019, uh, I will say a movie like that, you didn't expect to really hit a billion dollars in the box office. You you know, there was a lot of people intrigued in it. Joker is obviously a very, very popular a comic book character actually one of the most popular comic book villains of all time so getting a solo joker movie is definitely something that's going to catch the people's eye for all the success that it made in the very first film making over a billion dollars in the box office it's kind of like why not make a second movie why not make a follow-up especially where it's left off on us wanting to know what's going to happen next for Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. And now, with the second installment coming out with its trailer, we have Harley Quinn jumping into the mix, and it only gets crazier from there. Now, if you guys have already watched the trailer, you have, you know, your thoughts in your head on what you think so far. We know that, hey, coming into this, it's gonna be a jukebox musical. And it threw a lot of people off when that information was first put out. But looking at the trailer and kind of understanding what the vibes are going to be like, I'm kind of on board with it. Now, the final product has not came out yet. We still have to wait until October just to see how it's really going to play out. A trailer can look so good, but if the movie is bad, it doesn't matter how good the trailer is. But right now, we're going to be going on X, formerly known as Twitter, and... Honestly, just looking at the people's reaction on what they all think. What are the thoughts of the people? Are we loving it? Are we hating it? Do we feel in between? Do we just not know? This is what we're going to be doing. So come along with me on this journey. Joker 2 has reached 10 million views on YouTube in just 22 hours. It is also trending at number one. Yeah, that right there is impressive. All right, picking up where it left off with the success that it already had for the first film, and you're getting 22 million views in less than, not 22 million views, 10 million views in less than 24 hours, and you're number one trending. That is crazy. You're the number one trending thing in less than a day. This shot from the Joker too. Honestly, seeing this shot from the Joker, uh, it, it, it was incredible. Like the cinematography, like, whoever did this shot right here, you deserve a raise. Like, the, the idea of this, super incredible. You can just see how, you know, Arthur is just sitting there, and then Harley Quinn is just, like, you know, provoking him to really show who he truly is. And then the transition into just him blending into the smile to where it, he's just fully emerged himself as this Joker person in the matter of freaking seconds. You know, understanding the scene and how powerful it is and how simplistic they kept it as well. She gets a lipstick, draws a smiley face, he goes towards it, and he just smiles perfect enough for us to know that this man is fully embracing the Joker side. I also really like the teaser version they showed of him alone crying laughing in the courtyard. Honestly, it, it, it was like those other scenes where it's, you know, not much going on, but there's a lot going on at the same time. Yes, he's just sitting out there in the rain, crying and laughing. But, you know, the emotion that's going through him, you can really understand the madness that is going through his head. Like, the, you know, I can't fight what it is that I'm doing, so it's just driving me insane. But then my crazy side is coming out and fighting the side that you know is struggling there's just so much crap going on it just makes my brain even want to freaking explode trying to understand uh the joker's mind arthur flex mind it's so insane it's very heavy no nah, what is joker do there is no way whoa there is no way who the hell made this I swear, if this is like an extended cut, I obviously know this is fake, but if they could do an extended cut or some weird spoof cut to where he's actually dancing like that, crazy. Okay, now everybody is literally doing <laughs> Everybody is doing this video now. YouTube has given the Joker trailer a warning label that warns viewers that the trailer may contain suicide or self-harm topics. I mean, if you really look at the film, right, like really understand it. The first film shows, you know, a lot to do with, you know, mental health, like how it can wear and tear on somebody. And if they're in an environment to where, 
you know, they're not getting the proper help. They're not being treated fairly or they're not like treated with care. And like in that movie, the thing that drove Arthur Fleck to insanity was that like nobody cared. Like he even said it on the Murray show when he was, you know, basically explaining, Hey, like if I was dead on the street, you'd walk right over me. But those three guys, since the Thomas Wayne loves them, you guys find them more important. But if somebody like me, who's a nobody who has all these problems and I die, like you don't care. And it's almost like you take a step back and you kind of, put yourself in Arthur Fleck's shoes and it's like, well, well, damn, that's really messed up. Like it's true that, that it's coming from a real perspective. And I think that's why the Joker film is such a moving type of movie because a moving type of movie, that sounds weird. Uh, y- you got to think he's coming from like this real perspective of like the people that are treated so harshly you don't understand why they're pushed to this point, but let me give you some perspective. And now, you know, hey, don't be surprised if they retaliate in this way because you decided to be an asshole. Bad romance, Joker 2. We already knew we were going to get edits like this. Honestly, look, Lady Gaga is going to be in it. I wouldn't have mind if she did put her song in there. Like, if she put the song Bad Romance in the Joker movie and she kind of like, you know, uh, changed it up a little bit to where it sounded like it was, you know, music that was played in that time, you know, that honestly would have fit with the Joker film. I mean, I, you know, the Joker 2 movie isn't out yet, so I don't know uh, what the vibes are going to be entirely throughout the movie. I can just tell based off of the trailer, but I wouldn't have mind if Lady Gaga put an original song in there. Or if she put one of her songs that, you know, could have fit well with the relationship between Harley Quinn and the Joker. The Joker versus the Joker 2. I I do like that they're bringing in that type of aspect to where, um, you know, they're going down the stairs together. It looks like, if you look closely here, it looks like Harley Quinn's pregnant right there. So I guess this is one of those things where, like, he's going throughout his life together with Harley to where they get married and, you know, they have like this whole life together. And I guess this is one of the uh, moments in their life where everyone's like, oh, it's the it's Harley Quinn and the Joker. They're so popular, this, that, the third, which is why I believe that everything that's happening in the Joker trailer, the second Joker trailer, it's all fake and it's all happening in his head because we originally saw that in the first movie to where he thought he was hanging out with this person uh, that lived across the hall in his apartment. Uh, apparently that ended up not being true because he was in her house. She was like, what are you doing in my house? I don't know who you are. Or like, I just don't know you like that for you to be in my house. So I feel like this type of thing is going to happen for this movie, but we got to see. Todd Phillips says we never really talked about Joker two being a movie musical when asked at CinemaCon. Instead, he calls it a movie where music is an essential element. Yeah. I mean, when you hear the when you hear that music is going to be involved in the movie, uh, you kind of think, is it going to be a musical? And everybody kind of took that and ran with it and was like, Joker 2 is going to be a musical. I, I took it and ran with it like Joker 2 is going to be a musical. How the hell is this going to work? But, you know, seeing the trailer, you do understand like, oh, okay. Like, there's a reason why music is essential into this. Like, you can tell by the elements that are in the trailer. Like, okay, uh, the section where, like, the Joker, Arthur Fleck, saw Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn in the room. It looked like it was, like, some musical choir group that they have. Because, you know, when you're in prison, there's, like, certain groups. There's, like, book clubs in there that you can do. Or there's, like, Bible study groups. There's groups like that. So, I guess that's where he found her. That's where he found music being intriguing. And that's why it's an essential role in that movie. Because that's something hey, he loves. Or he grows a liking to. Cinematic masterpiece. Todd Phillips is so genius for this folle a I hope I'm saying it right. Is it folle a or is it folle a No. Yeah, there were, there was a lot of uh, things that Harley Quinn did that was like callbacks to the very first Joker movie. Obviously, the smile with the blood. Obviously, the gun to the head. Walking up the stairs. Going down the stairs. That's why I feel like in his mind, Harley Quinn is made up. And he created this image based off of like, 
what if I had somebody that was just like me? What if there was somebody who understood me and hundred percent got me? I feel like he wanted that so bad. His mind, his heart, it was like wanting something like that, wanting somebody who could be that. So, you know, with him having his mental problems, he created this person, which is Harley Quinn and that's his friend. So maybe it's like, she's an imaginary friend that he can talk to and that he can relate to so that when times are rough, when he feels lonely, boom, she's there. That's my fucking theory. And I think that's pretty accurate. Who knows? I could be wrong, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Yep. I like my videos. Nice, short, simple, and sweet. And so the point, and to keep this nice, short, simple, and sweet until the point, I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Leave your comments down below on your honest thoughts on what you think so far and what we have gotten from Todd Phillips' second installment of The Joker. Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you feel in between? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.